Hey, what's up everyone? John here from testpreppinsight.com, and today I'm going to be comparing the language programs for Michelle Thomas and Babel. These two apps are both pretty popular, though also pretty different in how they deliver their instruction, so today I'm going to break down who each is best for. And by the way, if you want some more information about either program at any point during this video, we have tons of helpful reviews and comparisons over on our website. An easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight, Babel versus Michelle Thomas. It's a quick way to get to. All right, so let's kick this video off with pricing since that's always an important decision factor. And let's start with Babel. They offer a few different subscription plans, ranging from around $7 per month for their one-year plan up to $14 per month for their pay-as-you-go plan. Or you can purchase a lifetime pass, which includes access to all Babbel languages for around $300. So with Babbel, it really just depends on how long you want to commit to and pay for in advance. Now, Michelle Thomas, on the other hand, doesn't have any monthly subscription plans. They sell courses individually that range from $12 all the way up to $100. For example, their intermediate Italian course, which consists of 20 hours of content, costs $90. Or you can purchase an entire Michelle Thomas language bundle for around $275. So overall, unless you want lifetime course access for just a single language, Babbel is clearly the more affordable option. It's just tough to beat plans as low as $7 per month. Plus, Babbel even runs sales and special promotions from time to time, so make sure to keep an eye out for those as well. I'll drop any current discounts and coupon codes that I can find down in the description for you. That way you can hopefully save some money. All right, so with pricing out of the way, let's quickly compare what the lessons from both companies are like, starting with Michelle Thomas. Their lessons are fairly short and easy to complete. Each one only takes about five to 15 minutes. And for each lesson, you essentially just sit in on a tutoring session between an instructor and two beginner students. The instructor will introduce new words, phrases, and concepts, and then ask the students to engage and participate. That way you can listen in and learn from the student responses and corresponding feedback from the instructor. So in the end, the lessons are really designed for you to basically join these beginner students. You can pause the lesson for as long as you want in order to develop your own response to the teacher's prompts and then learn from your mistakes as well as those from the other two students in the tutoring session. But keep in mind here, the Michelle Thomas lessons are audio only. There are no digital flashcards, pronunciation drills, videos, writing exercises, or anything like that included within these lessons. And that leads me over to Babel. Their lessons are on the shorter end as well, but the format is much different. So rather than listening to a pre-recorded tutoring session like you do with Michelle Thomas, the Babbel lessons utilize a variety of quick hit drills and exercises to deliver their instruction. So think matching pairs, flashcards, pronunciation practice, quizzes, mock dialogues, fill in the blanks, etc., etc. In other words, the Babbel lessons are much more diverse. They do a great job of holding your attention, and I also like that they incorporate reading and writing exercises in addition to speaking and listening. And I know I covered all of that really fast, so if you want a deeper dive or see examples of the lessons from either company, make sure to check out that full detailed written comparison I mentioned. I'll have it linked down below in the description for you. I have screenshots and examples over there so you can get a better feel for how each program works. Okay, so with pricing and lesson format checked off our list, let's cover the main advantages of using Babbel over Michelle Thomas and vice versa. And let's start with Babbel. And I know I touched on this a minute ago, so I won't dwell on this point too long, but I really like the fast-moving, diverse nature of Babbel's lessons. You'll start with picture-based flashcards, then transition into a fill-in-the-blanks drill, then you'll match word pairs, then move on to a mock dialogue exercise, and before you know it, the lesson is complete. And then the next lesson in your queue will be in a completely different order in order to keep you on your toes. The variety of exercises just makes the lessons go by very fast, and honestly, I think this helps make the language learning process more fun. Plus, I really like all of the visuals that Babbel includes throughout their drills and exercises as well. Again, for comparison purposes, the Michelle Thomas lessons are all audio. There is no imagery, reading, or writing exercises. So overall, not only are the Babbel lessons more engaging and fun, but they're also more comprehensive and balanced in terms of curriculum. All right, so next advantage in favor of Babbel is their speech recognition technology. So as you complete verbal practice exercises during the lessons, Babbel's tech will immediately evaluate your pronunciation and prompt you to repeat words, phrases, and sentences if you mispronounce them. With Michelle Thomas though, there is no speech recognition technology. It's just pretty much up to you to compare your pronunciation against the instructor and other students in the pre-recorded tutoring session to figure out whether you're on the right track. So all in all, this is another easy win for Babbel since they actually provide feedback on your speaking exercises and pronunciation. Okay, so advantage number three in favor of Babbel is the review sessions. So when you log into the Babbel app, you're regularly prompted to complete a quick two to three minute review of what you learned in previous weeks to ensure that the material is sticky. I personally think this is a big plus. High repetition is essential for language learning and Babbel's spaced repetition framework really helps you move new words and phrases from your short-term memory to your long-term memory. 
Not to mention, it's pretty cool that Babbel gives you the option on how you want to review. Flashcards, listening, speaking, or writing. It's awesome. With Michelle Thomas, there are no review sessions, just the lessons themselves. All right, so next up, advantage number four for Babbel are all the extra resources that they offer students. With Michelle Thomas, it's pretty much just the audio lessons and that's it. But with Babbel, you get access to a bunch of fun and useful resources like podcasts, games, and a digital magazine. And for those of you who learn best through personalized instruction, Babbel even offers small group live classes as well, which are a great way to dive deeper into specific subjects, get together with some peers who are also learning, and learn from experienced teachers. Now, to be clear, the live classes do cost extra, but they are awesome. The company offers hundreds of classes across all different learning levels every week, so you can essentially pick the days and times that work best for your schedule. So overall, I have to give Babbel credit for going the extra mile with all of their resources. Okay, last up here, advantage number five, is that Babbel provides a better mobile app and digital experience for learners. Regardless of whether you're completing lessons on your phone through the app or your desktop computer, the Babbel interface is quick and intuitive and is simply better than Michelle Thomas's. It has a modern feel to it and is super easy to navigate between the lessons and review sessions, and not to mention the calendar and features to track your progress and achievements. With Michelle Thomas, their mobile app pretty much just houses their audio lessons. There are no special features or bells and whistles. It's just very, very basic. So from an overall user experience standpoint, Babbel creams Michelle Thomas. All right, so that's Babbel. Now let's turn the tables and cover the major advantages in favor of Michelle Thomas. But before I get to that, I should just mention that every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we actually give away a free language learning course to one lucky person. It's super simple dinner. Everyone out there is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description, but just know that it takes like 10 seconds to enter and hey, you never know, you could win a totally free course from Michelle Thomas or Babbel. Okay, so the first advantage in favor of Michelle Thomas is that their language programs are tailor-made for auditory learners. If you prefer listening to lessons over reading textbooks or getting hands-on writing experience, then Michelle Thomas should work well for you since their courses are 100% audio focused. Whereas with Babbel, their practice drills and exercises span the entire spectrum from listening and speaking to reading and writing. So bottom line, folks who learn best through auditory means will likely wanna go with Michelle Thomas since that's their core focus. All right, so advantage number two is that while the instructors within the Michelle Thomas lessons spend far too much time speaking in English, in my opinion, I do have to admit that they do a great job of condensing grammar down into easily understandable little chunks. In other words, the instructors don't bombard you with overly detailed or complicated explanations. For example, instead of a lengthy speech about verb conjugation, the instructor instead quickly defines a verb form and then orally demonstrates how to use that particular verb in a sentence. They keep it quick and simple some brief context, and then right into an example. So I have to give Michelle Thomas credit for that. Now, to be fair, Babbel does a great job with their grammar instruction as well, but just in a different way. Their grammar instruction is primarily delivered through reading, which is why I give Michelle Thomas the slight edge here. Personally, I'd rather have an instructor spoon feed me the information rather than have to read and understand it on my own. But to each his own, I guess. And that about does it for the detail in this comparison. So let's get to the final verdict. Should you choose Michelle Thomas or Babbel to learn a new language? Well, after using and testing out each program, I give Babbel the win. And in fact, I don't even think it's really that close. To be honest, I wasn't very impressed with the Michelle Thomas language program. After all the hype that I've heard and the endorsements from celebrity actors, I was expecting more, but in the end, it was a bit of a letdown. The Babbel language courses are simply more comprehensive and well-rounded from top to bottom. Between the large variety of practice drills that extend beyond simply listening, their quick and accurate speech recognition technology, helpful review sessions, live classes, and top-notch digital experience, it's just hard to beat Babbel here. Anyway, that's all I have for you. I hope this video was helpful and you learned a little something about both Babbel and Michelle Thomas. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and dropping us a quick comment below. That would be really appreciated. And again, if you wanna see that full detailed written comparison that I mentioned earlier in this video, just hop on over to our website, testprepinsight.com, or check out the rest of the content on our YouTube channel. We've got a bunch of great videos out there. But as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one.